What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo from Pitchfork Academy here, and in this Unreal Engine 5 tutorial I'm going to show you how to use gameplay tags, as well as setting up some super scalable functionality that allows you to add, remove, and check gameplay tags between character classes any character class within your game it's a super super scalable setup including an introduction to blueprint function libraries if you haven't messed with blueprint function libraries before they are basically a library of functions that can then be called within any actor in your game and i'll even be showing you how to create subclasses of a master character class so for example i am many here i am a player class and then quinn there is an enemy class and these guys are easily able to talk to each other add and remove tags from each other and check what tags each other have Gameplay tags are an immensely powerful feature of Unreal Engine 5 and they work very well with the gameplay ability system, uh, tutorials about which I will likely be doing in the near future. So this is sort of a build up to that where I show you how to use gameplay tags and set up functions, like I said, to add, remove and check gameplay tags. So what we can do here to test this is just drag out our BP player as well. And if we shoot Quinn, it will get the exact same result here. So the functionality is still working. And if we shoot Manny, it will say, does not have gameplay tags component. Nice. But as per usual, guys, just before we get started, if you like what we do here at Pitchfork Academy, you can support our channel by wishlisting our upcoming game, Skyblocker, which releases on Steam April 16th.